to your last lesson in this course. This lesson will be more of a summary and a preface to the project in this course. So let's get right into it. So in this course so far, we have established a couple things. So the first thing is what the heck an IB outlet is. And we learned how to create IB outlets. And here we've created one for a button. Let's copy and paste this a few times. We can of course create one for a label and a table and an image. Uh, etc etc and of course let's not forget to change the type for it here this one is an image and this one is a table and this one is a label of course we learned how to present the input controller for a user to enter text or speak text with the present text input controller call we can put that inside of an IB action that we can connect to a button. So let's go ahead and create an IB action function. And in this function, we can present the text input controller and we can uh, put nil in here. We don't want any suggestions. We can put uh, this allows emojis and the completion is results in here. And of course, we've seen how to add more screens than just our default one. So we can go up here and we can search for interface controllers. We can drag as many as we want. Actually, there's no limit to this. And as you can imagine, um, we can create quite a large application for the Apple Watch with this method. So we can create all of these. Uh, of course, we also learned how to create a row controller file by doing new file. And it's a Cocoa Touch class. It's a NS object. We can call it row controller. Uh, it's important to know you can actually call this whatever you want, but a row controller is pretty... Uh, nicely aligned with the vocabulary of what goes inside a table view for each of the rows. So we could put in uh, outlets in here and we need to make sure we import watch kit and we can put in our outlets for each of the rows in here. And we learned how to connect outlets and actions in our uh, storyboard. We learned how to specify identifier for these new controllers that we've uh, plopped on our storyboard by clicking on it and then going up here and specifying uh, an identifier. We've learned how to present in the code another controller and we do that by pushing it onto the scene. So that's self dot push controller. We can put the name here. And we can pass in data here. We haven't really focused on this too much, so we can do nil for now. We've also learned how to save data in user defaults. So we can create an instance of user defaults like so. And on user defaults, we can set values for keys and we can get values for keys. So we can say user defaults dot set value for key. And of course we can say value for key, which will return what uh, is available, what whatever value is available for said key. And if there's nothing available, it'll return nil. Um, so yeah, we've covered a great deal of uh, content here. And what I want to propose to you now, and this is uh, available in the project uh, description and outline, but I would like you to take everything here that you have learned and create a uh, to-do list slash a grocery list application. So as you can imagine, a grocery list application uh, should allow the user to press a button and be presented with some text input. They should be able to speak whatever item they want to get at the store. And once they hit done, we should save it. And the user should be able to enter multiple items, of course, and we should be able to save multiple items. Um, with that being said, we want to present uh, a nice interface for them to see those items. So maybe instead of presenting them in a label, maybe we want to present uh, all those items in a table. And in a label in each of the cells for the table, we can show what the item was. 
And so with that being said, we want to be able to use our user defaults uh, saving mechanism to save multiple things and then later get those multiple things. So that is the challenge in the project that I am proposing to you all. And I really hope that um, I've sufficiently been able to give you a, a decent understanding of these concepts and components to build out this grocery list slash to-do list app. Uh, it's something that it's fairly uh, decently easy slash uh, well breadth of information to do. It's not something that you can put together in two seconds, but it's also not the hardest thing in the world. And I really encourage you to put comments uh, on this lesson and reach out if you need any help. And um, let me know if there's any other way that I could be uh, of more help. Let me know if there's any feedback for this entire course. I really appreciate uh, you guys watching it, especially if you've gone all the way through and you got to this point. Um, yeah, and I will see you in another course. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.